Dashing through the snow on a one horse open. Hello, how are you? Welcome to AntiDarren.com. This is my first upload for a couple of weeks. Again, I'm two weeks late. I know I'm really sorry. Unfortunately, last week I had a massive chest infection, so there was no way I could do a video. I even had to take a week off work, which isn't like me at all. Anyway, we're carrying on with the Christmas theme with presents you can give to other people and I've got a couple of nice recipes that I'm going to go through today with you. Uh, start off on this first video. Creamy whiskey, Baileys-esque, you know the sort of thing that you want. Whiskey cream liqueur. Now I would say Irish cream liqueur but I've got no Irish whiskey and as we are trying our hardest to make do and mend and use what we have, I have a bottle of, oh, what is it, yeah, teachers. So I'm going to make a whiskey cream liqueur that, you're, that anybody at any Christmas parties is going to love and that you're going to love and it's so simple to do. So stick with me, I'll shoot the recipe up on the screen and after the little bit of music we'll go on to how to make a whiskey cream liqueur. The first thing you're going to need for this particular recipe, I would recommend a blender. A food processor will do, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't get hung up if you haven't got one. A stick blender will do, but I have a blender, so I'm going to use it. So into that blender, I'm going to add one can of sweetened condensed milk. Now most Christmas recipes that we do, contain content condensed milk but I mean look at that that's just liquid heaven as it goes into the blender now I'm not trying to say this is a budget recipe it is if somebody's giving you a present that you're giving you the present of um, a bottle of whiskey but a bottle of whiskey no matter how you look at it is an expensive ingredient so this is just some this is just a way of making it go that little bit further. Remembering to get all the condensed milk out. Don't forget, waste not want not. I know. It's Christmas. What what about that? Okay. On top of that, we're going to put one and a half cups. of whiskey. That's to bringing the total to about, oh, so with the can of condensed milk, it should bring the total volume up to about 700 millilitres. Into that, we are now going to add a teaspoon of instant coffee. Use instant don't try messing about with uh, freshly brewed coffee. It really, really doesn't work as well. And here I've got some chocolate syrup. Now I will show, I've got a little video that I'm gonna run now. And that's how to make a really simple chocolate syrup. You can buy it, go to the pound shop, get a thing. I'm just trying to do everything as homemade as I possibly can. On top of that, I'm going to add two tablespoons. One, two, the chocolate syrup, and a cup or 300 mils of double cream. Whipping cream will do, single cream will make it a little a little thinner but you want that sort of Bailey's thickness going in and there you go the only other thing I want to add into that now is a roughly a teaspoon of vanilla go on lid on sorry about the noise but let's blend now I mean come on how simple was that how easy. I've got a nice little glass bottle here. I've sterilised the inside. 
that sometimes sounds really, 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 really frightening when I say sterilise the inside, but it's not. All I've done is I've washed out, washed the inside out with some really hot boiling water. Do not touch the centre of the inside of the thing, the bottle after you've done it. Then that whiskey cream liqueur out of the blender, and let's just get that raining into the bottle like that. It's like a milkshake on steroids. It's absolutely beautiful. Now remember, this does contain alcohol. It's not suitable for children. I do have to put that warning out. It's an 18 plus recipe. But out of that, that will last three to four weeks in the fridge. Perfect. I'm a genius. It's wonderful. It's marvellous. Okay, that's an hour or two gone past. Let's have a quick look and see exactly how the whiskey cream liqueur's gone. You know, there are some times that I really like my job and this is one of them because Although I don't drink anymore, I do like a cream liqueur. Well, don't we all? Just to give it a quick shake. I think it was November last year when I had my last drink, so happy Christmas. Mm. And to be honest with you, you genuinely cannot tell the difference. This is one of those that in a nice little bottle like that you can share with your friends. I thoroughly enjoy it. It's lovely and thick and luscious and oh my god is it good. For everybody out there who's listening to me, thank you very much. If you like what you've seen, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave comments down below. There is a Facebook group that goes along with this as well, it's antidaron.com on Facebook. Now, just a little note about a future video that I'm going to be doing, it's not going to be a cooking video. This is going to be a video about scams and online scams and at this time of year they seem to be more and more prevalent. So the email address is down below. Please let me know exactly any scams that you've either been caught up in, that you've heard of and let's get them out there so everybody knows. Um, as I said, I'm going to be doing that next week. Um, but try and get try and get some emails, so some emails, screenshots of the scams that you sent, emails, people on the street. It's going to be brilliant. Thank you very much for joining me, and a happy Christmas.